What's up, YouTube? Today we're working on the 2012 M37X. We're going to be doing reading. I got my new radio right here. What happened is, I'll just see if you can see the grips right there. Oh, I'm going to take this cover off and I'll show you. Take this cover off just a couple clips. Right here. Alright, so I got the cover off, pretty much it just sits on the intakes, on the air box I should say, there the clips, so you just sit in there and you put the clips on, anyways, now you can see the leak, now the reason why I'm changing the radiator is because the top holes right here, there's nothing leaking, nothing leaking from, like, that's obvious and the other, it's coming from this side you can see but on this side is dry which is where the bottom hose is and the transmission oil cooler lines are see down there and beside uh, I, I never change the radio oh there you go you can see it's leaking from right here you guys can see that right there Anyways, when I take it off, you'll see better. I'm going to start with opening the locking tabs. I'm going to lift it up and drain it off. So, let me get pliers. So, I got me a pliers. Let's lock it. It tells you. See, it says unlock. That way. Just pull it straight up. Just like that. So you take it out of Counterclockwise, up. So now, that gives us a bit of access to move a little bit. Oh, there we go. All right, so now we're gonna take off these bolts right here, because we're, we're gonna slide the whole radiator up. I'm not trying to dis... Uh, drain my AC or anything like that so I'm gonna leave the AC condenser as you can see there's a little clip right there then it just just slides in right here so what I'll do I'll just loosen everything up and I'll lift it up a little bit and let's pull it forward all right so we're gonna start bottom open. okay so I got the 310 bolts off of here as you can see down there two clips from the cable along with this clip and this clip. All right, let me do that. So as you can see, this is the clip. You just pretty much squeeze the two tabs like this and then you push that. Just like that. Okay, but remember how it goes, okay? Don't try to spin it around and put it on top, you know. Same thing with the other side. Just pressure, push down. Okay. Now for these, I can't really get to it. So I'm gonna use a flathead from underneath. Let me see if I can do this on camera. Push one side. It's gonna be hard to, to show you guys. So I just press both sides, see? One side, other side, lift it up. Hopefully you guys saw it. Let's do the other side. socket fell down. Always the 10 socket. Ready to go. Ready to go. Oh, there it is. I got it. 
Okay. So, let's try moving the condenser. So, we gotta push this tab in and lift up. You can't do this with one hand. This one don't have a tab. This one just slips right up. So, this one is out, see? Just lifts it up. You guys can see that? This one has a tab, so where's my tab here side? Oh, it's broken, see? You can see that? You can see the tab was broken out. Focus. There we go. Yeah, so it's supposed to have it on both sides. Gotta push this in and then lift up. There's new ones. Okay, from the bottom, here's that bolt I was talking about for the bracket that goes up. We're going to unscrew this 10 nut and then we're going to drain the radiator. Just move this tube like this, pull it off, use a star head Phillips, and we'll get drained. I can uh, move the clamp from these hoses also at the same time. Okay, so I got the radiator draining. I just opened the drain plug. Focus, there we go. And the 10 nut that I opened came out from right here, right? But now, the bracket that I guess it's supposed to be riveted on to this, it just came out. So I'll just slide it back and go. See? The bracket itself. So you just put it from behind and put put it from behind and put back there. So it's like a big washer, pretty much. But it's not supposed to be loose. It's supposed to be bolted to the plastic. And there's the, the drain plug. Little star head. Little o-ring. So I'm going to let the radiator drain. In the meantime, I'm going to start pulling off these uh, this line right here. I knew you can use a plier. Oh, I just wanted to show you guys a little trick that I do for a hose clamp. In particular, you just spray some lube around the hose and then you clamp it so it's it's nice and free. It's so much easier to move. Look, I'm doing this in one hand. See? Look at that. A little lube, you know, doesn't hurt. So my radiator is pretty much dripping out. So I'm just gonna put the cap back and move this container over to the hose and remove the hose. All right, so pull the hose off. I'm just gonna use a little channel lock just so I can get it spinning. As you can see, it's moving. should be wearing safety glasses, you don't want this to spill on you, and to go in your eye especially. Should we continue to set? Gonna put the cap on. Where's the cap? If it fits. All right, so he doesn't fit there. So let's see if I can get him to fit on the radiator. Okay. So I capped off the radiator. Let me get another one for the holes. This one looks a bit too small. Oh, this one's perfect. See that? So we got no more leaking coming from this hose. Tuck him. I gotta tuck him somewhere else. Alright. Now we have a rag. I'm 
not trying to make a mess, you know? All right, now I'm gonna move up to the transmission and pull the lines. All right, so for the transmission lines, where is it? Same thing, gonna spray some blue. pretty much out so now what I'm gonna do shit I need to find me a spark plug so what I'm using to block the lines I'm gonna use some old spark plugs I have living around so we're gonna pop the line out yeah it's gonna leak a little bit So the other one, he's up top, up there, so you can get to that from the top. For the AC condenser, there's another slot that it slides in at the bottom, see? So you wanna lift it up off of that. Same thing on this side. Right, right there. So you wanna lift it up. But you can't do it. Can I do from here? Okay, yeah, sorry. All Got that capped off. Now we're gonna unbolt these four bolts. See this? What is it? Tens. Four tens. Um, to get more space, I'm gonna move the front airbox right here. One ten bolt, but it's already broken off. And it just should pop right off. I don't even need to move it, I'll just lift it up. And that's how it's done. Alright, so I just spin this. This was facing like that. So I just face it backwards. Just be careful with the condenser. Turn it around and leave it So now this side I have space. You guys can see. This one. You guys can see I have space. But now this side I don't have space because of the AC lines. So I'm gonna. Open this bolt down there as a bracket. See so this bolt right underneath the airbox. That bolt. So 
I'll get a little bit more movement to push the line forward. This will move this about one inch. So this side, the gearbox needs to be unbolted at 110, and then you can just lift it up. You do not have to remove it. Try to get some lube in there and move it forward. Okay, so I put some lube from the front right there. Can you see that? Oh, of course, you can see it. And then I put some lube from right here, from this side here. Can you see it in there? And I just push it from behind. And now I have space. See? I have enough space for the radiator. I didn't check fully, but let's see. I still have the transmission line to open it. So let me do that. Get some move. From the top it's easy, okay? Gonna get a little, may get a little leakage, maybe not. It took a lot of fidgeting to get this stupid radiator out. Don't forget, take off your rubbers and transfer to the other one if it doesn't have it. Remember how your line goes. Oh, this one. And make sure you tighten this on the new radiator. Now, when taking this out, if I had to do this shit again, I would break. Oh, stupid thing. My container. If I was to do this again, I would break all these clips. See these stupid clips right here? The whole uh I broke this one on this one. Because it keeps hooking on the condenser when it's coming out. And you don't need it because it's on the radio this so it's easier if you just break them off. So I went ahead and cleaned up where the radiator goes. So now, I, oh, I did use the pry bar to keep the condenser away from the bottom of the radiator because it kept hooking. But you got to be careful, you know. One mistake could cost you AC. Anyways, <clears throat> so the new radiator. As you can see, it doesn't have no rubber garments, no nothing. Um, even the top. So, we already know. We gotta get the lube. So, give them a little 
little spray. Top and bottom. Alright, this was the, the top coolant hose pipe housing. One of them broke off, you can see. But I'm gonna remove this from the new one to go back in also. Be careful. Tighten the top pipe right here with the four screws. Now let's see if these will come out easy. Oh, here we go. Okay, so that came out pretty easy. bottom ones I'm not going to put on the ring. Let's see if it'll stay. Because I don't want it to slip off. Yeah, it's pretty tight. Okay, so we can put it in. It's pretty snug. That's pretty snug. That's pretty snug. That's not going in there. Top just slip right on. Open this, but I'm going to open it by hand so I can feel the torque or how tight it is. So I know how to put, how tight to put it back. I'm also going to run my wrench on this. Do not play games with this. Make sure you double check these. Make sure they're tight. All right. So I tighten up this the top ones, which is 18, and I tighten the bottom one, which is going to the radiator. That's 22. It was it was tight, but it need, it wasn't like tight enough for me. These caps, I like keeping these caps. So I open the four bolts and you can see they're not screws, they're 10 nuts. And it wasn't that tight. So. And there is an O-ring, see the O-ring? I'm just going to fix it back properly when I'm putting it back. Alright guys, I think I'm ready to drop my radiator in. Just double checking everything. Make sure it's not damaged. Everything looks proper. All my clips are there. Yeah. Okay. I'm try to set you guys up so you can see. Okay, we're gonna do this side first. Because I can't risk breaking this right here. It's very delicate. Trust me now. So you see, I got that pipe. That's my main pipe. So that one's in. Now we can focus on this one. This one we have a little bit of play because I can move this a little more. But let's see. Tad bit. Right, let's see if the pry bar can work some magic here. storage anyways so what I did was I got this piece just to go underneath see because I got that side in there so as soon as I slip this piece in now I'm gonna try to move it forward and have it drop in but you gotta be careful man you cannot let this shit get scratch or damage everything should go should go smooth should I'm 
getting stuck on this side over here. Can you guys see that over there? Yeah. So now we'll try sideways. This pipe right here, the top transmission pipe. I'm getting stuck down there. You can see that? Fan hose on pretty much. So, but the top it looks okay. Everything else looks pretty good. Just that one down there. So, I'm thinking I might go from the bottom. Touching the side too. Keep in mind, Nissan did say remove the AC condenser, so that's why it's so tight. But um, yeah, we're gonna try again. All right, guys. As you can see, it's touching the housing right here. I'm gonna try. Look, I need two hands for this. I don't wanna make a mistake and mess something up. Okay, so what I did. Hold on, let me get the phone going. What I did was I pushed on the radiator that way, like that. Let's see. And now it's coming that way. Like literally pushing to the front of the car. Like that. And I'm almost getting this way. Let's do this. This side, this side is almost free. Watch it. I'm pushing forward. Like that. And I'm good. So. Now something is touching up top, so I gotta go back up top. But I clear, you can see I clear both sides without damaging anything. So let's go back up top. So we're back at the top. Okay, so I'm touching right here on the top. Right there. Man, okay, okay, I can move a little bit. So down there is my back. There looks pretty good. I'm not rubbing on anything. Oh, I see we're touching on the AC condenser. The clip is just on top. Okay. So. Let me see if I can get the light to focus. I'm on top of yeah. the of the right there see the clip is on top of the ac condenser it's supposed to be at the bottom so i'm going to just use the primer right in between very gently to move it Anything, see? Just moving very gently. Something is blocking me from going down some more. So what I'm gonna do is lift it up and pull the rubber to seat inside the hole properly. I think that's what's blocking me. So let's do that. Because it's almost in. See the side is in. Or maybe I can use the fiber. I don't want to use the fiber though. I'd rather pull it. Yeah, you see, the rubber is not like in the hole. Like there, so we need to get him in like that. See, he just dropped in. And this one, just you know, he was dropped in already. Okay, now we're good. 
Now I can officially say the hardest part is done. All right, so we're back at the top. Now we lift up this condenser, put it back in place. Okay. But I'm gonna need both hands to do this one because this side, remember this side, I pushed out. I gotta push this side back in. All right, so I gotta pull them back. Easy. All right, I'm gonna spray some more lube and I'm gonna try pushing it. All right, guys, so I put the bottom hose back, bottom transmission, oil cooler line, and the top. I still gotta do this uh, AC line bracket up top. I forgot to do that. Uh, I'm just gonna double check, make sure these are snug or tight enough. The drain. And add cooled. I put back the bracket and the nut over here. Don't forget. Because this bracket just came, the whole bracket just came up. You can see it's back in position. See? It's just rested out, rivets just broke off from here. Still holes, everything's steady, it's good to go. All right, so we got a nice little zip tie right there, so he's not flapping around. Uh, all right, everything looks good. All right, let's go back at the top. Uh, I forgot to mention this. Whenever I move a bolt from wherever, I always put lube before I put it back, just in case I have to open it again, you know, corrosion. This is your best friend in this type of way. At least for me. Alright guys, when I was doing this earlier, I forgot this part came out on me. I I saw it, but I just put it aside. Anyways, it just pretty much just slips over the AC condenser like that. And it slips into the radiator. The clip. The radiator. So I'm just going to pretty much try to see. That's it. And that locks it and then you can put your so it didn't break or anything like that you know and you put your cable back now everything both sides has it keep in mind if you do pull up it doesn't break it just it's made like that and yeah and that's it that's about it let's start filling up some cool ones in there. oh another thing whenever you guys do this it's so always good to change the radiator cap. I forgot, I'm gonna change this tomorrow. Trust me, change the radiator cap if you never did. I'm doing this tomorrow. So everything looks pretty good. I didn't miss nothing. I put that bolt back. I did loosen this bolt a little bit. Let me just tie it back. All right. There's one ball that I loosened that holds the line. I, I just, I don't think it helped, but whatever. Let me tell you about it. And I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. It's right here. Let me see if I get it. Both are loosened just to make the lines move a little bit free, but I don't think it helped. All right, now we're gonna add some coolant. Uh, All right, guys, I'm gonna add some coolant, start it up, and we'll go from there. Check the bottom clump. I don't 
Spill this from when it boiled up just now. Okay, take this start up. some loop. <laughs> should call this the loop channel. Yeah, a little bit of loop down here. Alright, so, uh, well, you guys know this is just a cover. You can put this back. But with this cover, I cannot see nothing, so that's the reason why I'm not putting it back yet. Same reason why I have this cover off. I don't like it because I can't see. I know you guys probably wondering what I did here. This is just a PCB delete. And for the holes, I, I rerouted back in here. I had it out and it was leaking a little bit of oil. I didn't want to install a cap stand, so a little bit of oil in here, it's okay. But it had when I before I did this, everything from the throttle body, both sides was covered in oil. Like it had so much, it's too much oil. Okay, let's lift it up so we can see anything leaking. Transmission line is not leaking. Let's pop it up. Ready, the hose looks good. I'll smell no freon. That's my AC when the weather gets better. I'm not really here, not a big fan of AC. Unless it's extremely hot. Alright, so main thing is that transmission line. That that's something serious. Because you would be driving and you wouldn't know if it's leaking. And when all the fluid comes out, your tranny is done. You know what I'm saying? So pay, you have to pay very close attention to that. I am gonna come back because I have to leave. Now I'm gonna come back maybe Saturday and I'm gonna put a, a locking clamp on it. I don't like those clamps. Uh, but nothing is leaking. I'm gonna do to go to the car wash, do a quick power wash because it has coolant everywhere, see? And when mine started leaking, it was leaking from this side. Did I see that shit? I, I hear exhaust leak. Exhaust is leaking somewhere. Oh, there we go. need a power steering rack and pinion you can see where it's leaking from this is another video i'm gonna make i got the rack and pinion for uh, i think four or five hundred bucks rebuilt so i'm just gonna switch the whole rack and pinion i just have a rack there for now so it doesn't make a mess everywhere you guys can see it i'm not 100 percent if it's common in this car but a lot of them do leak and you can see previous when they changed it before this looks like it was rebuilt before Well, yeah, when I do have some suspension work I'm gonna do, I bought us a, uh, a used air tech kit. 
that video will be coming. But yeah, so so far, nothing is leaking. Um, where is my? I wonder if my dump tube will fit. Let's see. Everything looks good. So now I'm just going to let the system bleed itself. And that's it. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. There's a. Oh, let me bring it down. I'll show you this. Okay, so. Maybe it isn't good enough, I'm just going to top off whatever I'm doing. The main thing I'm, work <coughs> I'm working on is the bubbles coming off. Now this is just a regular funnel, I just didn't expect it in here. There is a bleeder kit funnel that we saw, I don't know how many. We had it with the But uh, main thing, we must be getting heat. Put the car, put the heat on. Make sure it's we're getting heat. Not getting heat. Get a move. Let's hope it's not thermostat or not something like that. Everything was working fine. Oh, shit. Everything was working fine before. This car do have 279 kilometer. Runs like a champ. Right now I'm not getting heat, like it's not hot. The engine is pretty warm. Yeah. So I gotta make sure this heat is working. Have an air bubble. So there's air inside. So what I'm gonna do, you can see the bubbles coming out of it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hold the gas and have bubbles inside. I'm gonna hold the gas for about two RPM. So I can get the fluid to circulate. Well, cool it. Keep in check at the funnel where there's no overflow. Yeah, we got heat, we got heat coming heavy now. Lots of heat. Should have a temperature gauge. Motion is looking pretty bad. Circulating. And even so, like, this, the way how these systems... Oh yeah, I was going to tell you guys, you see this upper bleeder? Just make sure it's tight. There's a little bleeder valve right there. Just double check it, make sure it's tight. But uh, when you drive the system bleed itself, I, did, I do have another car like this, so I'm going to make a video of how I ran my music. Under zero gauge. Little with a stock deck, well, stock stereo, and little boom boom in the trunk. Nothing major. Just a little something for bass. inch not too bad Let's go check the heat again. 
Yeah, we got heats. All right, we're good to go. And that's it. I'm just gonna top this up, which is it's, it's not bad. And I did put a little bit of extra in the reserve tank. And when you drive, it's gonna use a little tape. That's it. We're pretty much good to go. I'll do an engine wash on Saturday also. Top everything up, rev it up, they put it on an incline where the back is down and the front is up a little bit, like my jack stand does it. And rev it up, come back, open it quickly, and then shoot out. So all the air comes out. Then you cap it again, well you top it up, cap it again, rev it up again, start it, rev it up, and come back, open it. There's different methods of doing it. I think this method works uh, better. And we're good to go. I'm just going to put the cover on and I'm done. Alright. See you in the next video.